go ahead. Hi, I'm Rose from the New Brunswick Museum in Canada. We're Canada's oldest continuing museum. And I wanted to look at some of the issues that may be facing museums in the future. What kind of trends, what kind of things might really affect us as a museum and service provider or the visitors coming in? Well, imagine the visitors coming in. I think mobility is going to be something that's going to be something we should think about in museums like is everybody going to come in on those little ped walking machines, you know? And do we have to design our exhibits to accommodate those individual walking machines? Or, hmm, I wonder, there's the issue of energy and renewable energies and cost-effective energies in our museum. You know, are there still people that are going to walk into our museums? Because maybe they're the green people. So if you're a green person, and you're walking all the way to my museum. I think our city designers should make some kind of pedway sidewalk that actually generates the energy to keep our museum operating in top form. Why not contribute to creating the energy of the museum you're going to visit in the future? Speaking of future, I'm thinking also, hmm, science and genetics. Besides choosing some attributes I might want personally to add, new appendages or whatever, I don't know, but genetics. Hmm. When I get there to the museum, are you going to be able to actually to tap, tap into my cellular makeup and actually find some ancestral knowledge there? Maybe that knowledge ancestors didn't want us to find? Maybe that's embedded in my cellular makeup. So maybe the museum will have a station of gleaning ancestral knowledge that even I didn't know about. Oh, Grandma might not have known about it either. And, you know, with all this change that the museums have to anticipate, I think it's only going to snowball into a big, giant, surprising future. Bye from Rose, New Brunswick Museum.